Namaste. Welcome. This video is part of our video series, Yoga Gar's Top 3 Tips. We'll be covering tree pose today, giving you three top tips for an effective tree pose. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in further tutorials. All right, so let's get started. The first tip for tree pose is actually not a physical tip at all. It's the attitude. The attitude that you have when you go into a balancing pose is super, super important. That is important because if there's stress in your mind or you're worried about how you're going to do or how you're going to look, if you're still worrying about how you look when you're doing yoga, um, those things are going to distract you from the task at hand. They're going to dilute your concentration and your focus. And with balances, when we talk about concentration, we don't mean thinking about it hard because that's another obstacle. If you are thinking too hard about the pose that you're about to do, again, it will impede the natural flow of your body doing that particular pose. So it applies here in tree pose. Attitude should be that you're going into the pose as effortlessly as possible, that you feel like, eh, this is no big deal. I'm just, just doing a pose and I don't care what the outcome is and I'm feeling relaxed and easy. If you feel that way, then you are going to have a successful step into your pose. So that's tip number one, the right attitude, the attitude of, eh, this is so easy and I'm effortlessly moving into my pose. All right, so second tip is the positioning of your feet and your arms and checking in that you are choosing what is comfortable for you. If you overstep and you try something that is not really in your wheelhouse right now, you're going to be tumbling and falling out of it. So it's important to restrain yourself and just do what you can confidently and steadily do. So here are the options for the feet. First is to have the foot resting against the ankle. It's still both feet on the ground. It's just that one foot is slightly less on the ground. Second option is the foot onto the calf. Make sure that you don't put the foot on the knee, pressing on the knee joint, so that's a no-no. Or the foot on the thigh, it's just pressing against the inside of the thigh. With all of these, you wanna be thinking about having your hips open. And then the next option is a half lotus position. And its pr foot is pressing against your upper thigh. So those are the options for the feet. Next is the arm positions. So once you've found your comfortable leg position, then you choose to move into palms together in Anjali Mudra at the heart center. So that's your first option. Second option is to raise the arms above the head. The shoulders are relaxed and you're lengthening through the waist. Okay, that's the next option. Don't go to that option if you're not comfortable here. Stay comfortable here first. Once you're steady there, then you can move here. And then the third option is to lift your gaze up towards the ceiling or the sky, depending on where you're practicing your yoga. And then you come out of that in the same way that you went in. If you do it that way, releasing with control, then that's another way to build confidence, um, concentration, and also uh, stamina in the pose, controlled movement, okay? So that's tip number two. Tip number two is choose the foot and arm position that is going to be steady and that you're going to confidently hold. Okay, so final tip, tip number three, is your gaze. Your gaze is going to be very important. If you are in a room full of people or if you in, are in a room, you're at home now and your kids are running around and your friends are there or whatnot, it's going to be very difficult for you to focus. It's not impossible, but it will be difficult. But if you're alone and you're practicing your yoga, which I assume many of you are, you want to be using your 
gaze as a diffused point of focus. So if you focus specifically on one spot, your eyes will probably dart around a little bit. So soften your gaze so it's kind of just like a blank stare at a certain area rather than a point. If you look at one specific point, it will sort of jump out <laughs> of, your, of your control. So a diffused gaze is going to be much easier for you. The gaze should be straight ahead of you, not down and not up, unless you have the arms up and then you want to move your gaze up towards the sky or the ceiling. So straight ahead so that your neck stays in nice in line or looking upward so that you can challenge yourself. And the, the balance becomes much more challenging when you're doing that. So I hope you enjoyed these top three tips for tree pose, attitude, so making sure that you feel easy and effortless about what you're doing. Second tip is choosing the foot or arm position where you feel comfortable and steady. And third is to have a diffused gaze rather than a specific pointed gaze. All right. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and I look forward to seeing you again in a class online. Namaste.